Welcome back to Chamber of the Nation, and man, just saw the fucking beat down here on the out in the back. I don't. Where the hell was everyone else at? When things like this happen, there's no referees. There's no the cameraman's the only person back there half the time. Good way. James McGalloway, a fighting champion that he is, you know he's gonna be in his match later tonight. He's gonna fight with everything he has. Let's hope it's enough to survive another month. This crazy pure intense wrestling that we've seen as of late. At the same time, we have this guy here who wants to win, who wants the opportunity to do something big. As of late, hasn't really teamed up with Travis Leone. They always see eye to eye for the, for the most part, but tag teams do in pure, at least in pure intense wrestling. They always tend to break up and make up again. It, it, tag teams are weird here in pure intense wrestling, but that's besides the point. Travis Leone makes his way down the ring. And this guy wants to win. This guy wants to win so much. Because he knows. He knows he's the man. But so is Chuck White. Right? You can go back and watch their match where they were fighting for championship gold. And one, only one guy could come out above. And it was for the NXT Championship. These men both fought for that. They both fought for that. But Chuck White came out above. At the same time, with these guys being cahoots here, and, 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 a, and actually team up a little bit to take out the current champion, so there's a possible new champion like we had in the last match. If they can get that going, I mean, you may be in trouble here. You may be in a lot of trouble here if you're Kegel Common. Either way, we'll see how this match uh, starts to come to in a few moments. Travis you know, walks in this ring here waiting for this opportunity. Opportunity that doesn't come all the time. This man has made the opportunity his. It's no 30, just a month ago. This man took on Ben Satellite, the self-proclaimed king of the cruiserweights, and dethroned the king. The King does have his rematch clause for holding the damn belt for so long. But regardless of such, right now is isn't about Ben Satellite. Right now it's about K.O. Common. Right now it's about Travis Leone. Right now it's about Chuck White, this triple threat match. You see, K.O. Common came here on an excursion from Crash Pamp Wrestling to Pure Test Wrestling. And then defeated a Crash Pamp Sorry, yes, it defeated a Crash Pamp Wrestling World, sorry, defeated the Crash Man Pro Wrestling Cruiserweight Champion, being Ben Satellite at an over 30. And now, on a scourge in the Pure Intense Wrestling, he's kind of brought the belt to Pure Intense Wrestling? But he's a Crash Japan Pro Wrestling... It's hard to explain. Regardless of such, these three men are going to get it going. Sorry if anyone's got confused what I mean there, but... Regardless, let's make moves happen. This is for the Cruiserweight Championship of the World, ladies and gentlemen. These three men know how important it's going to be to be a part, not just, just of this match, but to be part of the Cruiserweight division. They know that. At the same time, they all know only one man come out above. All three men will be fighting for one prize. And that prize can definitely help them out going into Final Bout 2017. Let's see what these three men can do. Oh! So he's still going, oh, getting things going, and you saw the way that Travis Leon just looked right at him in the face, and right there, Travis Leon, I don't think we were expecting that. Drop kicks one out of the way. Elbow right there. Both men playing a little dirty. Oh, getting something going. Oh, kick right across the face, and a DDT for his troubles. Like I said, both men, oh, no, they have, might have to double team and take this man out here. That's just how the crumbly crumbles. Right now, if you're Travis Leon, I want to just let these two sit it out. Right there. That's a mistake that was made. Oh, somebody ran across that leg. And now these two guys are going at it. Probably it wasn't going to last for long. Like I said, when a championship's on the on the line, you tend to do a little more than you expect to. Oh, kick to the leg there. Kick to the leg again there. Slap right there across the face. Form right across. Spin it back kick. Drop kick right to the face. What a combination there from Kego Common. Waiting for the opportunity to strike. Oh, close line. That little bit of space and time. Took all of that. Oh, Jesus Christ. I'm across the skull with that shot. 
Shining Wizard there. Didn't get all of it. Wurik and Rana. And Kevin Commons, one of the taller. Oh, Japanese folk. He has that length. And has that, that size advantage that you don't expect out of nowhere. And he also has that strength advantage, too, that he can pull out of nowhere, too. I mean, the guy's so damn athletic. I say, I say it all the time. Him, him, and Puma the Prince are so damn athletic. Probably two of the oh, most athletic out of them all. After that, I'd definitely say Chuck White could be easy, easy, be a, easy third. And that's not just because he's in this match. I mean, the stuff that Chuck White does, now the guys are pulling off too easy. And he does it with such ease. He makes it look flawless. He makes he does it flawlessly. He makes it so, look so effortless. It, it's it's amazing. It's amazing. Either way, back to this match here. Both men trying to get something going over each other. A clobbering shot to the back. Gets himself right back up. Oh, kick right there to the mid section. Oh, misses that. Both men thinking of something. Thinking the same thing. At least for the moment. Look at this. Flips out of that. Drop it right there. That was rough. Okay, we're coming now. Tornado DDT. That was amazing. Not going to waste any time. Okay, we're coming. Not wasting any time. Goes right for the hook of the leg. One. Two. Only two. Chuck White. Knows what exactly what he's got to do. Go oh, here. The same time. Okay, we're coming so quick. To the top he goes. Double foot stomp. To the top he goes again. For whatever reason. Drop kick, he's trying to go take out Travis Leone here. Travis Leone said, no, ain't having it. Swats him away. You saw the, him crumble there. And now Travis Leone trying to get a, a, a victory. An easy one. A deadlift German. Suplex to the smaller man here. Jeez, what a shot. What a move over there. One, two. And he throws that shoulder up at two. The feet were close to the rope. And the referee was inspecting the legs as well to make sure it wasn't touching. And it didn't. And even my rope break wasn't called. Double foot storm right there. If Caleb Commons didn't hurt. Trust, trust me, Travis Leone hurts you just as much. Look at this German suplex. Go! Cool. He was looking at the wrong person that caught him. Oh, jeez! Waiting for him to make a mistake. He'll come away for him to make a mistake, and he does. No! No! Not giving him any time to recover here. Clobbering shot. Saw it coming. Both guys thinking double team here, and then, oh, they're doing just what brought him to the dance in the first place, being one of the longest reigning Pure Intense Wrestling Tag Team Champions here on Pure Intense, for Pure Intense Wrestling. But, now they're fighting each other, and you gotta realize it's a little bit different. Chuck White in trouble, belly to back suplex, crumbles hard, kicked right there to the mid section. No, Kago saw it coming. Spinning back kick, oh, shot right there. Oh, kick right there from Travis Leone. Travis Leone now has things going in his favor. Look at this. That leg. go oh, Breaks the big man down. The taller you are, the more, the more that move hurts. The more that move hurts. If you're shorter, you kind of can bend out of it. If you're taller, your leg just crumbles right there. And smart man for Travis to go for the legs. Because if Kale Cummins has to use those legs to power out, it's going to be really hard. Clothesline takes him down. Chuckway has something going. Got cut off there. Stumps right across the face. And any man could walk out with this thing, and I wouldn't, be, I wouldn't be, I wouldn't even be upset. I mean, all these three men deserve a shot like this. Oh, and now laying in those shots. Oh, that back kick. Sorry, that back chop. And now laying in those kicks. It's been a back kick again. This night has been something. This night has been something here for sure. Okay, we're coming. Trying to, oh, trying to land that form, and he gets all of that. Kick right there to the leg. Four, oh, clobbering shot. Hale coming, close lines him outside the ring. If you're Travis Leone, you gotta watch yourself. If Travis Leone was any smart, you get you get up and cut him off. But oh my gosh, that space man pull launcher. Fosbury flop over on call it. Oh, spinning, saw it coming. See saw it coming. He caught it this time. And now you see Travis Leone setting up for a STF submission hold here. And you could tap all you want, but you gotta realize on the outside, on the on the inside. Sorry, on the outside, it means nothing. It only has to be done inside the ring. This is a regular triple threat. Oh, that back elbow! That was rough. And Zagari swatted away. Oh, went for that shot. Tosses him back in the ring. They meant both men chase after him. Kevin Hummer rolls right back out. It could be onto these two men here. Chuck White now trying to needs to get something for himself. Drop kick swatted away. Travis Young on his A game. Oh no, saw it coming. Chuck White cuts him. Who'd have run a beautifully done? Chuck White now going for the hook of the leg. Sorry, a lateral press. And that could cost him some time. Friends or not, if you don't go for a lateral press, you go for the hook of the leg. 
Look at this. Oh, misses that. And that moves him right, right there. That move could do it too. Throws that shoulder up at two though. It's a mistake like that that can really cost you. Looks right at him. Cuts him. Oh, gets that leg. Playing a little dirty here. Yeah, you're going to have to with these two. Chuck White cracks him right across the skull. Giraffe kicked to the side of the head. Chuck went out of this thing. Chuck went out of this thing. Crumbles hard on the outside. You see him just ready. Just ready. Just ready. Sets up Dragon Suplex. He gets all of it. Flies right to the top. Kevin come waste no time. Phoenix Star, no, and he misses that. Bad spot to be. Travis Sion on his A game here. Misses that. Whatever he's going for, cuts him off with a clothesline. Travis on his A game here. I, I, I say it a lot. I've been saying that a lot. Oh! But I may have spoken too soon as well. Chuck White now. Going to the top to hit what? I don't know. And then the man's ready to fly. 6.30. Oh! I think he tried to cut him off there. One. Two. No. And Travis throws his shoulder up at two. That breaker, he got all of it. Kevin Cummins out of this thing. Now go for the pin again. Do what you got to do. But instead, Chuck White may be in trouble. Going for something big. Looks like it's a power bomb, but no side coming. Rolls him up. Oh! Cuts, scrapes, cuts, scrapes, and bruises all up. Pure test wrestling here tonight. Chamber elimination. And look at the. See, speaking of scrapes, look at the face. Lateral press here. One, two. Barely even that. Oh! Oh, shots again. Waiting for him to line him up. He was waiting for the moment to line it up. Oh, kick that right there. Another one there. And a third one at that. Next breaker again. He cuts him off. What a match this has been. Pele kick crashes him down to the mat. You have a standing, you have a standing Travis Dion here. Belly to back suplex. Oh, he takes him down. Travis Young waiting for his opportunity to strike. This could be it right here. This could be it right here. Not done by the slightest. Realize what happened. Realize what happened. Even though in a, just uh, dazed here. Two. No. Okay, go. That Pele shot actually did him in that time. You can see that he's, he's, trying, to slow, he's trying to slow him down here. Oh, that knee. That knee was nasty, man. Going right for the lateral press again, and that could cost him. Like I said, if you don't hook the leg in a match like in matches like this, where everything where things are so, can be so specific, it can cost you neck breaker. And Chuck White going right for the pin on Kago this time. Now it's Chuck White's turn. No. Oh, a shot right there to the chest. Chuck White waited for his opportunity to strike, and this could be it. The Kago says no. Oh, kick the back hamstring there. Catch that leg. No. Oh, no. Lifts him up. Lifts him up for what? Oh, no. Look at this. Last Ross style power bomb here. He's going to sit out into it as well. This could be it. This could be it. One. Two. No. Are you kidding me? Oh, that arm. And he could try to end it right here. But the rope break the only thing that may have saved him. Stomp right across the face. Not going for a submission hold or, or, a, or a nerve hold here. And that nerve hold can, can, can have, you, have you fade out. Can have you fade out with ease. And Travis Young trying to fight as much as he can. But go oh, gets cut off there. Chuck White throwing everything into this match. Just as much as Travis Orkago is as well. He's got a lot of offense in this thing. Oh, takes movement out. Drop kick to the big man. I don't think Chuck will even really realize where he's at right now. But oh, oh man, just been playing possum for the moment. Oh, 
Look at this inverted Frankensteiner. You see him crumble there. Kegel coming out having any of it. Clothesline takes him down. Clothesline takes him down now. Another one there. Ducks the line. Super kicked on the side of the head. Standing core screw. Amazing. What a match this is. Travis Leone in a bad position here. Kegel coming ready to fly. Kegel coming ready to... Oh no! Oh! oh he just may have knocked him the hell out. Call it what it is. This match has to be over. Hooks the leg. Is it enough? One. Two. No! And throws that shoulder up into... Are you kidding me? Chuck White. Chuck White in trouble. Chuck White in trouble here. No! Oh, he got all of it. What a match. What a match. And Travis Leone could walk away with this victory here. Travis could walk away with his victory here. Referee won. No! He makes the save at one. Are you kidding me? Oh! It punches. He's punching. He's punching with the damn ground here. Oh! Crash right across the head. Sets up for a front looking slam, but no. Counterbalances that weight with his own. Chuck Wade now going to the needs to go to the top and hit something. He needs to go to the top rope and hit something here. Kago Common says no. Kick right there. Side coming. Oh shit. You saw the way he balanced him up. That it wasn't gonna go, it wasn't gonna be nice. It wasn't gonna be nice for him. Ends a great to the side of the head. Sets up for something big. Look at this. He got all of it. What a fucking match this is. Ladies and gentlemen, this could be it. Look at him. Look at him. Look at him. Jurok kicked to the side of the head. Well, all these men fighting for something specific here. And they want it. They want it back. And you know he wanted to jump. You know he wanted to jump. You know he's waiting for his opportunity to fly. Look at this. What the hell? Oh! Look at this German suplex. He got all of it. He rolls his neck up. This could be it right here. Referee. Rope break, though. The hand was under the ropes. Ladies and gentlemen, it was. It was. It may not seem like it, but it was. Did he T there? Stomp right across the head. And now going for a nerve hold again. And now trying to apply it on Kegel Comet. And Chuck White not having any of it. Breaks it up. And it could be there. Oh, that clothesline. Could do it. Jump right across the... Oh, and the knees. Just pressing the knees across. Kick. Cut the kick there. Dragon screw. This is your opportunity now. This is the opportunity now, Chuck, to go to the top, hit that 630 or something. He keeps kicking him down, but it's not doing anything to him. What a match, man. On the outside, you see Kago coming, taunting. Waiting for his opportunity to strike. Question is when. Question is when. Oh, it hits the referee instead. I don't think he was trying to do that. Either way, that's just the color crumble sometimes in a match like this. Stomp right across the chest. Look at this! Moonsault! And with precision, lands right over the referee's fucking head. Shot right there. Look at this. Ducks the line. Watch out! Kill oh, Chuck White takes a crumble. And again, DDT. Oh my gosh, plastered. And that could do it. That could do it right there. Two, and no, Chuck White throws his shoulder up again. What a match, man, these boys ain't giving up. And you gotta give them credit for not giving in here. You gotta give them credit for not giving in here. But what could it be? What could it do? This match can end right here. Look at this. And Chuck White says, no. I know you too damn well. <laughs> he does. Yep. Pele kick there! Holy shit! Could be it! Could be it! Referee, come on, man! One! Two! No! And throws that shoulder up into! Stomp right across the head! 
And now going for an arm bar here. I don't know why you want to go for a submission hold this late in the match. There's, 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 no, there's no time. This is not enough time. These guys are so quick and they know they want to get out of things. And they're going to get out of everything they can in a match like this. Kick. Saw it again coming. DT. Oh gosh, look at this. Get him that crunchy. He got all of it. Travis Leone in a bad spot here. Kago coming to the top. This could be it right here. Got it all. Speeding star. Referee. One, two, three. This one is over. What a match, man. Holy shit. Timing was everything in this thing. Resiliency was key to making to keeping this match in a survival pace. And at the end of the day, when it was all said and done, Kale Common retained said championship. But Travis Leon and Chuck White were definitely a challenge, not only for Kale Common, but for themselves as well. Taking each other on, when you get, when you're taking on guys you know so damn well, when you take each other on, and you, you team up with each other, and you and you and you plan moves out with with your team. When you do all these things, and you end up taking each other on, I mean, how do you counter someone who knows you so damn well? I mean, this, this, this is not the first time these two have taken each other on, and we've gotten that same result, where you just, it's just so much counter wrestling because they know each other so damn well. But at the end of the day, the person that you, that you, you kind of expected to win this thing, or at times you didn't expect to win this thing, being KO Common came out above, and everyone was trying to get KO Common here, everyone was trying to double team this man because they knew how important he was in this match, about how key, how key he was to keeping this thing going at his pace. They tried, to, they, those two boys tried so damn hard to keep him out of the way, but when it was all said and done, this move right here did it. That Phoenix Star Splash got him the victory, and ladies and gentlemen, he retains the Cruiserweight Championship of the world. KO Common, no joke by the slightest, give this man credit, he deserves every bit of it. The blood flowing on the face of all three of these men here, but you gotta believe that if this was a different night, it could be a different man. But tonight, Cruiserweight Championship of the world. Still belongs to Keiko Kamen. And guys, up next, we got some more for you. We got some more for you. As the Pure Test Wrestling Television Championship is on the line. You got six men in this thing who really want an opportunity to win. Really want an opportunity to win. But and most importantly, a guy who want, one man who wants to retain. And that, his name is Lloyd Daniels. He has five of the men to worry about. It's going to be a crazy one. I'll tell you what. It's up next here at Chamber of Illumination. These two men started off here. Davin and Fada. Oh, and Roddy Hale. This is for the Pure Intense Wrestling Television Championship. These two started off on the outside. You have Ricky Green. You have Puma the Prince. Joe Hellenic, oh, in the Pure Intense Wrestling Television Championship. Sorry, Television Champion. He's not a championship, he's the champion. Lloyd Daniels. Right now, it's all about who comes out it's next in the third, as the third man comes in, but it also comes out, it also depends who comes out last, too, because the chances are that person can win the whole damn thing. We've seen earlier on in the heart in the Pure Intense Wrestling Hardcore, oh, Elimination Chamber style match. Johnny Schaiko being number five won the thing. So it kind of may help to come out a little later than everyone else. Either way, eight seconds to find out who the next man is. Hope you guys are enjoying this night so far. It's been a little crazy. Got to hope for guys like Jason McGalloway. You got to be hoping that. He, I bet you he has to be hoping that. Oh, Lloyd Daniels. Lloyd Daniels not waking, wasting any time getting back and getting in this ring here. You got to be hoping that a guy like. Oh, James McGalloway. If you're, like I said, if you're James, sorry, what I'm trying to say is if you're, if you're James McGalloway, you gotta be hoping that, hey, let these guys hope, beat the fuck at each other as much as possible because I can maybe rest up a little bit. You know he's not 100%. I mean, we don't even know, we don't even know what's going on with him at all. I mean, we got better, we, we got medical staff after, at that point after, but, I mean, what does that really mean? I don't know if they can really help him by the slightest. There's nothing they can really do for the man. The way Davin Nevada to the top. Oh, this. Oh! Going for something a little insane here. Cuts him off. Oh! Lloyd Daniels trying to fight back here for the moment. 
drop kick right to the side of the head. But how much can you how, how much fight can you have when you have oh five other people in the ring with you? At some point something's gotta give. Setting up for something big, it seems. Look at this leg hook. Look at this leg hook. Oh, and tosses him back. And speaking of someone who wants this to win this thing a lot right now, it is oh Joe Hellenic and a leg fighting right now with Davin and Fada. Tosses him outside. Oh, and crumbles hard as Lloyd Daniels. Look at this. The strength of Roddy Hale is, in, is, is, is impressive. It's impressive, man. It's impressive. Oh my gosh, his back hits that. We look, we, we got some new, we have some plexiglass in the back, but I don't know if that's going to save any, any of these guys. Like I said, that hardcore match was, was insane, but now Lloyd Daniels got to survive. Oh, it just throws him off. That was so damn ruthless. And a DDT across this cage here. European uppercut. Now, you, you, you see, oh, Ricky Green walking in this thing. Making his way into this match. Look at this. Oh, no, no, my suplex. Like Daniels saying, hey, I'm not really gonna, I don't really want to enter myself in that. Oh, kick the leg, take the big man down. Sorry, the, 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 the taller man down here. Dabbing about to take these kicks and everything of that sort. And now a kick to the head. We're well, just at the Nova 30 where Davin Avada, oh, sorry, not Davin Avada. Lloyd Daniels and Joe Hellenic were going at it, and they had a hellacious match, pardon the pun. Crucifix here can do it. Trying to get something going. One, and Billy even a one. The referee taking too much time. Oh my gosh, the crap. You can hear the crash as, as bodies collide with that, oh, that metal structure on the outside. The structure that makes up this whole arena here. Side coming, Lloyd Daniels cuts him off. Oof. And Puma the Prince makes his way into this ring. And now all every uh, every all the six men have are finally made their way into this thing. Jesus, what a German suplex. Look at Davin Avada. Oof. And look at Roddy Hale trying to get something going for himself. Watch this kick. So oh, he gets on the way of it. He gets on the way of the kick. Boy's able to recover in time. And Roddy Hale takes advantage. And takes him down. And now look at look at, look at Joey Hellenic in trouble here. Submission holds and everything of that sort. This one can easily be over, but it's too early in this match and throws him right over. Miss, misses up, messes up for the moment. Cuts him off. Oh, takes him down. All these men trying to get something going. Look at this. Alpha Mare water slide there from Puma the Prince. And a shot. And everything of that sort. 6.30 cents on, he gets all of it so quickly. This match could be over here for Roddy Hale. One, two, no, and throws that shoulder up at two. What a match, man. Oh. Submission hold on the outside there. Drop kick. Look at this, Tornado DDT. Puma the Prince showing no matter where he is. He'll find a way to land on you. Form shot, rolling form at that. Joe Hellenic taking damage. Hasn't really found a way to fight back here. Oh, and never mind. Using that strength to power out with those punches. Short arm close line takes down Lloyd Daniels here. Jawbreaker tough as nails did from Davin. Righty Hill cuts off whatever the hell he was going for. DDT there, or something of that sort. Oh, Falcon Arrow did all the deal right there. All these men thinking something. Thinking, what's the next step? Oh, next step was that fucking wind-up punch. That he winded up so damn hard. Almost almost like a tornado. And just whacked right into the head of Davin Avada here. But Davin throws the shoulder up at damn near zero. Look at the strength here. Roddy Hale proving it again here in this match. That, those, that, that, those shoulders taking damage there from... Joe Hellenic here. Oh. Bad spot to be, bad spot to be. Oh. Lloyd Daniels cuts him off this time. Again. Floats over. Neck breaker and he got all of it. Only a two there. This man can fly on elbow right. Damn, my elbow right across the spine of Joe Hellenic here. Nothing to. No. 
Take nothing away from any men here. But these guys have been through hell and back. Not just in this match, but all year long. Oh, a punch right there in the head just takes him down to... That punch is laid him out here. This could be it. But no, throws that shoulder up. Oh. Boy, Daniel's in trouble, man. Oh, God's last skipped on the outside there. Two. No. Oh. I don't even think Lloyd Daniels knows where he is right now. Referee needs to focus. This pin's happening in this match here. Three. That one's over. Roddy Hale's out of this thing. Take them from, from Roddy Hale, but he was on the point of the first people in this thing. Oh, kick right there to the face. Sets up. Could be it right here. Joe Hellenic with a knee. And takes him down to size here. Well, you could have let them fight it out, but I think Lloyd Daniels has something against him right here. And right now, I think I got him unsuspecting. I got him him unsuspectingly. There's no way he can, he can stay in this thing. There's no way he can stay in this thing. There's no way. There's no damn way. And he has no choice but the tap. Submission is victory here. And you may not like it. And look at this. Look how quickly he got up. And looking right in the eyes. Oh, it just collides into everyone. Lloyd Dell's not giving anyone a second. And you, you think he's staying back and kind of wait for things to happen. No, he gets right in there. Oh, shot right there to the head. Says, come on, Davin, let's go. Oh, shot right there. Side coming. Kick right into the midsection. Knees just caught him across the face. That was rough, man. This match is insane. Question is, who does what next? Oh, toss him out. Oh, crumbles hard. I think they want to jump. I think they both want to jump. And it just shows how, how much of a, of a tag team these guys have been. That they think the same thing like that all the damn time. Ricky Green in trouble here. Look at this. Floats right over. One. Two. Barely even that. Oof. Put him with the Prince. Neck breaker. Stump right across the face. Lloyd Daniels fighting with everything he has. And that arm just taking work there. Davin Nevada flying to the top. For what and on who? That's the question. Who? Some of the Prince in trouble here. Let's go for that knee. They went for that running knee. He got all of it. Hooks the leg. Referee in perfect position to see everything. Two. And not only a two. Oh, who did run? Forearm shot. Another one there. Oh. Cuts him off. Oh, front slam. Oh, Corkscrew Senton could do it. Both men being pinned here, but who gets the first one? Throws that shoulder up at damn near zero. Referee now paying attention to him. Only two. Oh, he takes the referee out instead. What's that way? What gets on the way of that? Boom, the Prince toss him outside and crumbles on the outside here. Nowhere to go. Oh. The referee's down no matter what you do. You can't get a pin or a submission or anything of that sort if the referee can't see it. You see him collapse right on across the referee there. Davin Nevada now. Oh, kick to the leg. Body splash. Hooks the leg. Throws the shoulder up, though. I'm telling you, Lloyd Daniels is superhuman, dude. There's something, there's something with him that he just... Not a lot of wrestlers have. He just has that, that uncanny ability to just kick out when you least expect it. He's not the biggest guy for the most part. He's never the biggest guy. But he always shows that he has something. He always shows that he has some kind of some kind of skill. You see what you see? Oh, you see what Ricky Green just did there, but it gets caught up. DDT. And also, that's Danny Shura Nui. This could do it right here. Oh, that knee! Look at this brain buster, he got all of it. And Lloyd Daniels still going, and a kick right to the head there from Ricky Green. Drop kick. One, two, three. This one is over for Davin Avada. And speaking of Davin Avada, he's out of this thing. 
It could come down to these two right here. It seems like it's going to be like that for the moment. Lloyd Daniels down and out of it. Puma the Prince on his A game. Oh, back elbow there. Kick to the midsection. Looks like he's in trouble. Brain buster time. He got all of it. My goodness, this could be it right here. Referee. Two. Three. This one is over. Puma the Prince. Lloyd Daniels. They're going out of here. And I'll give him a second. And that's what I like to see. But from Lloyd Daniels, not giving anyone a second. No time or no hesitation to go. Oh, form shot. And now trying to get it from another angle here. Knees right across the head. The crowd behind this man, they understand where he's come from and how, how he's made himself so big after all the time fighting here and fighting again and fighting again and again and a kick right there to the head will do it. What a match, man. Trying to gather the, the crowd behind him, trying to gather these troops, trying to gather everyone together for the moment. Already oh, swatted it away. Kick right there to the leg. Whatever he's going for, side coming, clobbering shot there. Calf kick to the side of the head. What a match, man. What a fucking match. Rolling forearm right there. That was rough. That was rough. Speaking of rough, going for something big, but no. Clobbering shot. And when you're right at this moment here, and it stands looking in the face of a tired Lloyd Daniels and a tired Puma the Prince. I don't care what you gotta say. This is amazing right here. This has been nothing but amazing. And right now, just waiting for him. Waiting for what? I don't know. I don't know why you were waiting for any point of waiting here. He's waiting for him to do something but saw it coming. You, you can't think that he wasn't gonna see that coming. Oh! What a match, man. What a match. Sets up. Rolls out of that. Look at this. Beautiful double wrist lock suplex. Two. It throws that shoulder up at two. These guys have nothing. These guys have nothing else to fear at this point here. And Lloyd Daniels going to the top. Are you kidding me? Oh my gosh. Threw everything at him here. That can be it. Referee one. Two. And again only a two. What a match. What a night it has been. We're not, we're not even done yet. We're not even done. Lloyd Daniels, what are you thinking? What are you thinking? Look at this. Drop kick to the side of the head. He gave him some time to recover for the moment. Lloyd Daniels gave him some time to recover for the moment. And what did he do after that? Kicked him right across the face. Cuts him off. Arm drag there. Now on one knee. Could be in trouble here. No oh, knee to the mid -setch and Cuts him off. Catches that leg. Oh. T takes that leg and tosses him down. And right into the leg bar now. What a match, man. Holy shit. Call this match where you want to call it. But if he can slow down Puma the Prince, he may have this match in the bag here for sure. What a fucking match. Oh, it kicks out of that. You see the kick right across the skull. Oh, I think he's trying to go for something. Swat that away. Oh, no. That's about to be. Bad intentions. Bad intentions. Oh, and he right there. And takes him right down and nowhere to go. And Puma the Prince may have no choice but to tap. Puma the Prince may have no choice but to tap. This one could be over quickly. This one could be over damn near quickly. I'm not too certain, but I'll tell you what. He could tap right here. And he has no choice but to tap. Puma the Prince has no choice but to tap. Take nothing away from any of these men. This match was amazing. This night has been amazing. Give Take nothing away from this two men, man. What a match. Take nothing away from these five men in this match. Take off all six. It was fucking phenomenal. Everyone was doing their thing. Everyone was trying to get something going. Look at this 6.30 early in this thing. Look at this punch. Lace him out. Waste no time going for the pin, but just not enough time. Just not enough time. And the reason why is just way one referee in this thing. Brain buster right there. Taking out a friend of his own. Saying it had to be done. Lloyd Daniels not going to interfere and try to stop him. It was all said and done. He had, he had no choice but to tap the Puma the Prince. What a fucking match, man. Survived.
survived is what this man did. He's been surviving his whole career. He's been surviving. That's amazing. What a fucking match, man. We got one more for you. That's the Pure Test Wrestling World Heavyweight Championships on the line. I'll, fix, I'll tell who's in it and why they're in it up next. But man, if you're James McGalloway, you're not going to this thing 100% by the slightest. Out of all the men that's going to this thing, slightly 100% or anything of that sort, James McGalloway, which you just saw moments before the Chuck White, Travis Young, KO Common match, there's no way James McGalloway could be 100%. Not by the slightest. We'll see if he can survive, as he always seems to find a way, like, just, just, like, Lloyd Daniels finds a way, always to come out above. The question is, can he do it? James McGalloway, I, I wonder about the man sometimes. Either way, we can't wonder, you gotta hope that he can win this thing, and find it up next, here in our main event. Six men, want a chance, to walk out as Pure Intense Wrestling World Heavyweight Champion. Can they do it? Like I said, we'll find out up next, here at Chamber of Elimination. Starting this one off, King Samoa and... Oh, Scott Mercury. Mercury wasting no time to get trying to get a submission hold here on King Samoa. Look at this. What, look at this. Looks like, I'm telling you, he's a scrapper, man. Scott Mercury's a damn scrapper. The way... Oh, we saw the return of King Samoa. It's wrecking those boots across the face. We saw the return of King Samoa earlier this month. It's got Mercury running in his mouth as he always does. Got himself in a little trouble with King Samoa. And now you see these two right at it. Either way, also in this match. Oof. Just tosses him off without any, without even, with no hesitation. Oh, and crashed right across the head. You have Ashley Everett. Nero Galaxion, Ethan Baker, and the Pure Intense Wrestling World Champion being James McGalloway, who can't be 100% by the slightest. I mean, not every man in this match is 100%, but James McGalloway wasn't 100% coming in this match, even if he wasn't attacked. Even if he wasn't attacked. Now just laying in those shots there. Ethan Baker makes his way in the ring. Oh! Oh, and he saw him coming! SEO takedown there. Mercury just trying to get something going on this man. It cuts him off at the moment. Mercury. And now the big Ethan Baker takes him down with ease. And that's the difference between these two guys here. Look at this cross body. Not often you see Scott Mercury go for something like that. But he definitely did pull off something new here. All right, now they're working on King Samoa. Trying to bring the big man down. And see what they can do. Elbow right across the chest. Nothing nice about that. And King Samoa may be out of this thing here. To... No, throws a shoulder up. Chris is only a two. Knees and missed it. Oh. No. Tosses him into the corner. Oh, here comes the World Heavyweight Champion. Pure Test Wrestling World Heavyweight Champion here. James McGalloway. This. Oh. Collides right into him. Oh. Neck breaker, he got all of it. You know Mercury well. His moves are predictable, but they always catch you. Drop kick right there. These two men going out of here. I don't know if, if, if Perry Platinum and Ethan Baker are still in cahoots by the slightest, but I'll tell you what. If anything, they definitely definitely have kind of neutralized James McGalloway for the moment. Mercury. Oh, look at that DDT. Mercury and... McGalloway have got at it before earlier on in this season of Pure Test Wrestling here. Oh, kick right there. King Samoa, oh, spinning heel kick, drop kick right there. Shots right there to the side of the head, sets up ammo Flosion. He got all of it and crumbles. Mercury down to the mat, could do it, hooks the leg to throw. Oh, and I could have been it right there. Ashley Everett in this thing as well now. Everton King Samoa. Know each other for the mo oh, back elbow. Oh! He, he used him turn around and kick him. That was insane. The speed the, the, the flexibility on this man for being so big. King Samoa bringing it here. Shots and everything of that sort. Oh! 
DDT, reverse DDT at that. Stumping it across. Ashley Everett here. James Miguel working his ass off. Oh, he crashes him with that Enziguri shot right there. That was nasty, man. Oh, that leg. And look at this. Lion Tamer here. Lion Tamer. That high angle Boston Crab, if you want to call it that. And King Samoa may be out of this thing. King Samoa may just be out of this damn thing. But the big man not having any problem getting out of that. And now near Glass in this thing. And no more waiting around for anyone. Everyone has someone to fight. And now this is this is your thing to stay in this fight now. This is the opportunity you have to do. This is what you have to do to stay in this thing is you have to fight. You have to fight everybody and every damn thing you possibly can get your hands on right now to survive. It, 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 you have to you have to fight. You have to fight. Joe's chops water the way. Oh, flashback there. Hook the leg. Oh my gosh, the thud. Did you hear his body? Did you hear Neil Glassell's body just crash there? Throws that shoulder up quickly. Neil Glassell, the freshest in this match. Oh! Oh my gosh, that Samoan blitz. Oh, the spine buster on the outside. If someone can take it, though, it's definitely Nero. But I don't know if Nero can keep taking moves like this. Look at this. He lifts him off the ground with ease. And look at this now. Look at James McGalloway in trouble here. Look at this. Oh! Referee. Referee, got to pay attention. You got to pay attention to Mercury. Two. No, and throws that shoulder up at two. Look at this. German suplex could do it. Doesn't have the full positioning. And look at the way his head's, his head's at. What a match, man. I think they realize if you want to get someone out of here, you might want to go to get the world champion out of this thing. Both men collide in each other. Both men collide in each other again. This is clothesline right there. He got all of it. Two. No. And throws that shoulder up to James McGalloway. McGalloway standing in this thing for the moment. Oh no, look at this. Oh, he just tosses him. Mercury is no slouch. I mean, the, the guy has held his own, but you're in a match right now with guys who are gonna, who want to damn near decimate everyone. It doesn't take anything from, from Mercury here. Mercury's just as bad. But right now, throwing that shoulder up, and you see, now you see, there's so much going on. The referee can't keep with that. I can really keep with my damn self here. Ashley Everett just hit the dang ring on James McGalloway. McGalloway's still in it. Oh! And gets a submission hold there. Referee on his A game. Needs to case down his A game though. That set up power bomb there. Super kicks him out of the way. That back taking damage. One, two, no. Nero Galaxian getting tossed They're all over the damn place. What else did it take? Oh, look at this. Tombstone. Tombstone. But no, Ashley ever saw it coming. Oh, he just cried the over. Drop kick. They take the head. They beat the hell out of him here. One. Two. No. You can't. You're not gonna. You're not gonna get one over. You're not gonna get one easy. On a guy like McGalloway, as beat up as he is. Samoan drop. Look at this. Waiting. Oh, for the moment. Waiting for the moment. This suplex. No. Oh, he just lands his whole ass across his head. This is King Samoa for you. Welcome back, big man. And that can be it right there. Two. No. Forearm shot. What a match, man. Hard hitting as hell. Swinging back fist. Chop to the chest. Chop tosses the man over. Kick to the, to the butt. This guy's going in it. This guy's going in. Oh, that kick right there will do it. What a fucking match, man. Oh, no. 
on the outside. Nowhere to go. Look at this. No. Don't do this. Can he bust it? Oh, my gosh. Go for the pin here on Scott Mercury. Is it enough? Two. Three. Oh, he throws that shoulder up at the last moment. I told you you can't count on Mercury. You can't count Mercury at all. Now that you can't count any of these guys by the slightest, there's a reason why these guys do what they do. Two. Three. And Ashley Everett's the first one to get it to be eliminated here in this match. Oh! Oh, jeez! Toss him back in the ring. Scott Mercury going after. Oh, King Samoa here. That shot took him out there. That could be it right there. Your last time may be out of this thing, too. Three. And it's over! People get eliminated left and right, and now you see Scott Mercury trying to get elimination here. Two. No, and throw that shoulder up at two. Mercury trying to get something going. I don't know what his, his next step is. Going to the top could be a great idea. Could be a detriment. We'll, know, we'll find out in a, in a moment here. Going for something big. No, he misses it. Toss him in the corner here. Oh! <laughs> he just cracked him right across the head. Say what you want. Say what you want. This one just may be over. Rear naked show. Kanika. He, he got him. That Kokina clutch. That Kokina clutch could do it. Mercury's no 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 joke in this ring. But he may have a choice but the tap in this one. It's all said and done. And he has no choice but the tap. Mercury's been holding his own, but he has no choice but the tap. Now it's these three, these three men left. King Samoa. Oh! And James McGalloway. But look at this. McGalloway just crashes. King Samoa, no joke. Oh. <laughs> Fucking shit, man. This just tosses him right overhead. That's the power of this man McGalloway here. And that knee right across the skull. Shot to the bat. Oh, that arm. Look at this springboard. Mosa gets all of it. Hooks the leg on McGalloway. Is that enough? One, two, throw. Now trying to get something going. Send Ton right across the man. No hatred here, no love lost between King Samoa and James McGalloway. But if you can get the opportunity to get something going on someone, you might as well take the opportunity and take out the champion here. He has too much momentum, he has too much fire about him. And rolls him up, could be it right here. One, two, no! Oh, he has him rolled up. He has him rolled up. Oh, jeez. Oh, Case Mo says he'll do it for himself. And that's exactly what he's doing. He's doing it for himself. He says he don't need it. Someone else doing it for him. McGalloway says no. It kicks him right across the leg. Oh, it crashes him right. Did you see the boom bank right off the side of the head? Stomp right across the head. Knees and everything of that sort. Show the black takedown. He's coming right back at him. Watch out. Spine buster from the big man. Kicks him right back in the leg. Nothing nice about that. Clothesline. Oh, just booted him. King Samoa on his A game here. Look at this. The strength, the strength to do that is insane. It's insane. Oh, he just cracked him across the skull. It's King Samoa. Oh, no. Come on. This could be it right here. This could be it right here. King Samoa may have a big upset here, ladies and gentlemen. Shot to the back, though. Brings the big man down. 
Kick right across the chest. I don't know if he's saving him or what, but Crowder go for a pin on James McGalloway. Maybe the smart thing to do to... No, and throws that shoulder bit too. Look at this exploder. Exploding suplex. You may love it, you may hate it, but that's just the way this match is going right now. Oh my gosh. Big time Sandon coming up. King Samoa. Oh no. Could do it. Could do it right here. Could do it right here. Could do it right here. King Samoa be out of this thing. Watch this. Oh, that could be it right there. Ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen, one. No, he throws a shoulder at everyone. Are you kidding me? They're trying to beat the hell out of King Samoa now. And I think it's the, now they're trying to think of who's the most powerful in this thing. And right now, it seems like King Samoa be having that thing on his way. Oh. Working the arm now. Look at this. Oh. Oh my gosh, he's fighting out of it. Are you kidding me? Oof. What else can you do? What else can you do to each other? And these three men are just fighting at everything and chopping at the bit, waiting for the moment to strike. And right now, this could be it. Oh, with this, watch this, watch this. Oh, it's back. Working King Samoa down here. Trying to get the hook of the leg quickly. And throws a shoulder up as King Samoa again. You haven't seen the King Samoa fight this hard for a long time. Oh, Samoa trying to make them distance. Oh, he just kissed right back down. This is a hard one here for sure. They're working this man down. Uh-oh. Look at the strength here. Look at the strength here. Watch this. Oh, oh damn. What a maneuver. Whoa. Oh, he throws that shoulder up at one. Zero even. Zero even, if you want to call it that. Standing moon salt and he gets all of it. Oh, that knee. Nothing nice about that. Oh, I stomp right across that chest. Oh. Rolls up the, 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 the rolls him up, rolls him up Galloway here. And you think these two would work together, but this could be it right here. Rolls right back over. No. <laughs> he just threw his whole body at him. Not even a kick, but he just threw the whole body at him. Look at this. Oh, he rolls him right. Oh my gosh, the body. Bad spot to be. If you're. Anyone else? <laughs> oh shit! What a shot! What a shot! Back elbow. A heavy punch just crushes them down. Could do it right here. One. <laughs> a one again. You got these guys who just kick out at one. How do you beat someone who just keeps kicking out at one? When everyone in the match does it, it's insane. He's seen the thrillers get eliminated, being Scott Mercury. We've seen three of those eliminated being Nero Galaxion and Ashley Everett included. Oh, misses that. Look at this. Chop to the chest. Sorry, to the back and a kick right there to the face. Look at the strength. Look at the strength on Ethan Baker's spine. Buster, Jesus Christ, are you kidding me? Single leg Boston Crab has to do it in. Has to do someone in. Ladies and gentlemen, how do you keep fighting? How are you, how are you, King Samoa? You're still fighting out of this thing. Are you kidding me? Look at this. Oh. You did a match like this. You don't have any, you have some time to roll out or get something going. But there's, there's no rolling out here. It's just these guys going at it. And Baker trying to go for something big. And no clothesline. Jeez. Oh. Oh. 
Cuts him off. What a, oh, what a shot. Samoa distancing himself for the moment. Zane doesn't want any part of what's going on. Leaving the ring here. Smart man. Smart man. Oof. Trying to get himself away from both these guys here. Oof. Misses that. Misses that. Misses that. That could cost him. Gets distancing himself away from the ropes for the moment. This is bad intentions here. King Samoa in trouble, ladies and gentlemen. Oh no. King Samoa, look, look at this. Look at this, the strength on Ethan Baker. No, oh jeez. Oh, look at this, Emma Flo, no. Jin, go there, reverse DDT. Oh, my God, by that across the face again. This match is insane. Somebody's got to pull something off. Somebody's got to get something going for themselves. Oh, jeez. This power slam. Saw that coming. No way. He has a Bukana Clutch locked in. He has a Bukana Clutch locked in on James McGalloway. And McGalloway may have no choice but to tap here. He had no choice but to tap here. He was waiting for the opportunity to strike. And McGalloway's out of this thing. McGalloway's out of this thing. I don't know if it was from earlier on or what. But either way, McGalloway is out of this thing. And now may they be down to Ethan Baker and King Samoa. I mean, it is down to these two. One of these two men will become champion by the end of this thing. That's a definite guarantee. We have a new pure interest wrestling champion by the end of this thing, no matter what anyone says. And right now, Ethan Baker seems like he's the man. He seems like he's the man to work to get this thing going in his favor. Needs to the miss section. This is close I gets all of it. Host the leg could be it right here. Referee one, two, no, and throws that shoulder up. This King Samoa, are you kidding me? Oh, that shot to the side of the head, battered and bloodied and bruised and everything of that sort. And now you have Ethan Baker trying to get things going, trying to get things going, trying to end this thing. No, King Samoa says no. Both men going at it here. Oh no, has him up right where he wants him. Could do it right here, the muscle buster. Jesus Christ, that could be it. That could be it right there. Hooks the leg, King Samoa may have this thing in the bag. Two, throw it, throw that shoulder up to Ethan Baker. Ladies and gentlemen, are you kidding me? Baker is still moving. Baker's still moving. He, you know, he wants this more than anything. He has the ch We have a new champion here by, by a definite margin. And right there could do it. Right there could do it. Look at this. King Samoa using his strength here. And his flexibility too. No. Tosses him. Off the ropes here. Ducks down ever so nicely. These guys are moving like this. No. Oh. Oh, he's just trying to get something going. But I guess that was a no. I guess that was a no. Either way, King Samoa laying in those shots. Those shots and everything that I saw. Spin back fist. Oh my gosh, just on his A game here. You may love or hate this man. You may love or hate Ethan Baker, but you gotta be respectful what these guys do in this ring. Sent on right across the chest. Stomp right across the chest. Going with something big. No side coming in. The smallest moves can do it. The smallest moves can end this match here. That's a definite. Oh, that's a definite for sure, right? That's a definite sh a shorty right there. Right off the ropes. Back right into it. Kick to the side of the head. He trying to get him up for something else. But Ethan Baker comes him off the knee. And now it's Ethan Baker's turn to turn a little bit. 
Baker showing off, but now he has to get back down. He needs to get back down because King Samoa is getting up. And while if, uh, if King Samoa is still getting up, that means you haven't done your job. That means if this man is still moving, if he's still breathing, you haven't done your job just yet. And he ain't taking out this match just yet. Not by the slightest. Look at this suplex. Look at this suplex here. Suplex beautifully done. Right into a float over can do right there. No, and throws that shoulder up at zero. Stop her across the arm. This could be a new, we have a new champion. I mean, we're gonna have, like I said, we're gonna have a new champion here. And King Samoa's gonna keep laying down those thunderous blows. Ethan Baker, though. Oh, jeez. Look, look, look. Beautiful. Hooks the leg. One. No. Stop her across the arm again. Now just look at this, look at the head, look at the blood flowing down the face, and there's more blood now! There's more blood than ever before! Ethan Baker has this match! He can't even see where he's at! No! Cuts him off! Sets up! Look at this! Emerald flow! Shit! He got all of it! My goodness! Again, King Samoa moving! I, don't, I thought he didn't know where he was, but he's definitely proving me wrong! Setting up! Look at this muscle buster! He got all of it, Jesus! Waiting for the opportunity to strike. Waiting for the opportunity to strike. And now, just may have it. Just may have it. Nowhere to go. No kind of leverage. Right here. Right here. Could be it. Has to be it. There's no way. There's no way the maker can stay in this thing for long. There's no way he can stay in this thing for long. Ladies and gentlemen, this man just may be over. We have a new champion here. It has to be a damn near definite. It has to be a damn near definite. It has to be a damn near definite. But no, Ethan Baker rolls him right back over. Are you kidding me? Power slam. That was rough. Go for it for the pin. Go for the... There's nothing else you need to do. Ethan, there's nothing else you need to do, man. I don't think Ethan, Ethan Baker knows what he wants to do next. Fucking shit, man. What a match. I don't think this was the way things were playing for any of these men here. Oh, sets up. German suplex. He got all of it. You saw him turn around. He saw that Joe was... Sorry, he saw that King Zemo was up and smashed that elbow right across the head after that German suplex. Now just punching that wound back open again and the blood flowing down the face. And you can see the blood on the hands. Of Ethan Baker here. Uppercut cuts him off. Shots right there. A full forearm shot there. Spinning back fist to that store clove. Oh. He can't get the big man up. He can't get the big man up. He's just as tired as King Samoa is at this point. Ethan Baker now. Cuts him off. Oh, what an uppercut. Look at this. Deep Sea Diver to get light as that Cyclone. King Samoa says no, ain't having it, not having it, cool shot right there, again, go for that center, he's been doing it all night, what a match man, Mongolian shot, sets up for something big, but Ethan Baker saw it coming, look at this, spin out, oh look at the strength, watch the strength, like a fucking baby cradles him and just got, has him with a rib buster there, look at this, look at this, he got all of it again, hooks the leg, one, no, <laughs> he throws the shoulder up again, are you kidding me, what do you need to do, what do you need to do, Ethan Baker just as tired as anyone, look at him, he's on one knee, you've never seen Baker on one knee like that, and not have some kind of plan, not have some kind of something, and I guess his plan is to go for the next move, the next maneuver here, look at this, no, saw it coming, shot right there, has him like a fish, he's gonna gun him like a fish across those ropes, my goodness, shot right there, another one there, forearm shot of that, go Mongolian shot, Oh, he paintbrushes him, and now has him, and another, and one from one corner to another, from one corner to another, and how many times can you take this coquina clutch? How many times can you take this coquina clutch and still stay in it? How can you stay still stay in this thing after all this? It has to be it. This has to be Ethan Baker, has no choice but to tap. King Samoa is your new pure intense wrestling world champion, ladies and gentlemen. Holy shit, what a night it has been. You may not like it, but this is what the, how the cookie crumble here tonight. 
look at this is from early on you see these two working beating the hell out of each other here and you thought after all the damage that was taken that you finally get something good done here on King Samoa but you still kept fighting him back and into it you saw guys like Ethan Baker you saw guys like Ashley Everett bringing their A game former Pure Test Wrestling World Champion former Crash and Pampa Wrestling World Champions everything of that sort every man in this match has been champion of some sort somehow some way for Pure Test Wrestling or Crash everything these men have put in everything these men have put in look at this right here and we got us everything man every fucking thing Fucking chill. oh my gosh, what a match. What a night. What a night. We have a new Pure Test Wrestling World Heavyweight Champion here. Being King Samoa. Look at the blood flow down the face. But the blood and the sweat and everything that's been put into that championship now goes around the waist. Now it belongs around the waist of a new man here. A new person that can hold the Pure Test Wrestling World Heavyweight Championship. A guy who just, you know, you can say six months ago was not even, was barely even feared in Pure Test Wrestling anymore. He found a way to turn himself around with a big time return here earlier this month. Just like everyone else has been working their ass up to get to this point. To get to this point here. Him and Ethan Baker killed that in the end. We thought Baker had everything going. You are talking about a guy who was healthy. It was Ethan Baker at the end of it. It was James McGalloway. It was a surprise as all hell to see James McGalloway tap out there at the end of the day. But like I said, he wasn't 100%. And it's, it's not just making excuses for the man, but you saw what happened. And at the same time, you, got, you, got, you have guys like Perry Putton who are in the who are in the mist waiting. Waiting for his opportunity to strike with that money in the bank briefcase. And at the same time, you have a guy, you have a guy, you have a guy that's a definite, that's definitely waiting for King Samoa specifically. I found about. And his name is Rick Marco. I know that match may not seem too insane, but best believe they're going to give her their, all, their everything. They're going to give her their A game. They're going to put everything into it when it's all said and done. Like I said before, as always, guys, comment, like, subscribe. Oh my fucking gosh, my voice was like, eh, at the start. It kind of went, eh. Later on, even, even this match was kind of dying out, but it came back in because I knew that at the end of this thing, these guys were going to bring their A game. And that's exactly what you got from this match. That's exactly what you got from this match. Like I said before, guys, I ain't done just yet. We have final bout to go. I don't know if I want to make it a two-night thing where I can kind of showcase everybody all, all for one giant or just have one giant night. I'm not too sure how I want to format it just yet. I might just do what I did last year and have two nights, part one and part two of each. Or do something like that, but um, other than, other than that, man, uh, it, it's been it's been fun as fuck, man. We're getting to 2K18 today. The DLC just came out for uh, the NXT pack, so you know we're gonna be, be fucking killing shit over there on Pure Intense Wrestling and Crash Jump Wrestling for 2K18, and also alongside that being Shinjuku Joshi Bell. If you haven't seen episode 10, which was a major two-hour fucking show go and check it out it was amazing like i said i do the stuff for you guys i fucking love you guys i could fucking i don't even know i don't even know i, I, I fucking love doing this shit for you guys so if you guys enjoy please do the simple things of leaving a comment on what you guys think of just not this night but all the stuff i've done so far like i said we're a final month away from final bout um leave a like that's the simplest thing you can do i don't ask you guys to donate i don't ask you guys to pay me anything all i ask you guys to do is click that like button Leave a comment. Let me know what you guys think. And click the subscribe button if you haven't already. Thank you. And as always, like I said before, one more time, comment, like, subscribe. And I'll see you guys at Final Bout 2017. Until then, peace out and good shit.